Oh, I guess I got ready just in time, huh? Welcome back to All Play, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're here with more of the Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke. And uh, <laughs> we are not having such a great start, to be honest. If, if you ask me, we're not having a great start. But that's okay, because life's an adventure, and we're going to get through this one together. We're going to do this, all right? So let's go ahead and check out the team. It has changed considerably since the last time we did a team check. Or at least I think it has. Not entirely sure. We'll find out together. This is our leader, Perry the Brave Prim... Prim? Prim? Perry the Brave Prim Plup. Uh, it's attacks. His attacks. Pound, Peck, Bubble Beam, and Metal Claw. He's currently carrying the team. Cannot lie. I cannot lie. This is Scavenger, the modest rap... Uh, Rattata? I almost said Rapidash. I'm not here today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's attacks. Her, his attacks. Pursuit, Bite, Hyper Fang, and Focus Energy. Then we have Viper, the Hardy Ekans. His attacks. Wrap, Glare, Poison Sting, and Bite. Viper's also putting in a considerable amount of work. He's doing the damn thing. Then we have Starla, our modest cluffer that has from the egg. Her attack, Sweet Kiss, Magical Leaf, Extra Sensory, and Encore. She's actually much stronger. Much stronger than one would expect. Then we have Beedrill, our, our lax Beedrill named Waste. Uh, let's check out the attacks. Harden, Fury Attack, Focus Energy, and Twin Needle. And finally, after we lost a, a wonderful member of our team last episode, if you guys want to check out who, go watch that episode. Um... I realized we had one Pokemon left in reserve. We have not had more than one Pokemon in reserve, really, for this entire playthrough so far. We have Dawn, our modest Makuhita. She's actually pretty good. She's actually pretty good. Her attacks, or her ability, guts. Uh, she has a status issue. She's sleep, paralyzed, poisoned, frozen, burnt, whatever. Um, she gets an attack boost each turn, at the end of each turn. Uh, that goes great with Focus Energy, Sand Attack, Knock Off, and Vital Throw. She knew Arm Thrust, but I got rid of Arm Thrust for Knock Off. Arm Thrust, um, it deals small damage, but at the most five times a turn, at the least twice. Um, and it wasn't enough compared to Knock Off's advantages. Uh, Arm Thrust was a normal type attack, I believe. While Knock Off is dark, it gives us a little bit of more variance among the team so i said let's go for knockoff i'm not so not so thrilled about you know opponents losing the items npcs don't have items too much but the fact that it's a dark attack means that dawn can kind of protect herself against a psychic type i'm not gonna i'm not gonna purposely send her out against a psychic type that means i want her to die but if she gets sent out one way or another or pulled out one way or another to a psychic type she can handle it just a little bit herself so that's our team ladies and gentlemen that's what we're running with from here on. Oh, I didn't feel like, to be honest, I didn't feel like raising Dawn all the way. So what I did was I trained her up until she got to, what level was that, 18? I trained up until she got to 18, and then I blew the rare candy on her, getting her to level 19. So she was more or less even with the rest of the team. Okay. With that out of the way, what we're going to do now is head north, out of Goldenrod City. Goodbye, Goldenrod City. Don't worry. I will be back one day for the game corner. One day where I need to record, but I don't feel like recording really, I'll come back and we'll do, we'll play around in the game corner. But we need to continue on our journey. We're going to head north, past Goldenrod City. We're going to go past, uh, what is that, National Park? We're going to go past National Park, and then we're going to continue on our journey. Remember, there was an area where there was a dancing tree. Tree hit a, hit a mean jook. Hit a mean jook, and song must have came on. A dancing tree. And we couldn't get past that tree. So what we can do now is we can wake the tree up. I know it sounds weird. Give me a second. Give me a second. We can wake the tree up with the squirt bottle that we just got. Uh, the tree doesn't like squirt bottles. It doesn't like water, rather. So we can go past there, that area, and continue on our journey towards our next city, which may or may not have our next gym badge. All right. Today's Saturday. That means the bug catching contest is on today. The rules are simple. 
using one of your. We're not gonna do the butt catcher contest again. We already we already had one horrible run in with the butt catcher contest. We're not gonna do that again. Not now, at least. And of course, we wouldn't be able to use that on our Nuzlocke. Whatever we catch on our Nuzlocke, anyways. The same kind of Pokemon may look different, but they grow, uh, they can grow differently. Their strengths may look the same in the beginning, but those strengths can be changed as they grow. Basically, it's talking about EVs. For those of you who don't know, whenever you defeat a Pokemon, you get several EV points based on that Pokemon strength. We're going to get this blue apricorn right here. Um, they gain EVs based on what type of Pokemon. For example, when you defeat a Pikachu, I'm not entirely sure, but I think you get one special attack EV. Um, every four EVs counts as one bonus point that they'll yield in that stat when they level up. It's it's kind of confusing, but it makes the competitive scene stand out. That's what that sign was talking about. As they're raised, they, they become stronger in different areas based on how, who they fought. Let me guess what you're thinking. You're going you gonna to guess or you're going to fight me? You're going to guess or you're going to fight me, Psychic Mark? He has a Venonat. All right, Venonat. Here we go. Uh, let's catch it with a peck. Uh oh. Confusion. Oh, of course. One shot. You got me with the confusion. One shot. Here's a peck. Great. Perry's going to attack himself to death. We got one of those Pokemon, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Perry. Need you to break that confusion. Dang. Not today. All right, Perry. Need you to do it here. Perry, I need you to do it here. Perry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to heal Perry up. I'm not going to push it. I'm not going to push it because last thing I need is a crit to come out of nowhere. Let's see. 50? Yeah, we can do 50. We're, wait, is that our last super potion? We should probably stock up. Oh, I just realized this is a new area, isn't it? Does this count as a new area? I'm not entirely sure. We'll check the map after this battle. Because I know that it's connected to the part that we just left before we got to National Park. So we'll check and see if this is a new area. If it is, that means we get a new encounter. A new opportunity to catch a member for Team Snaps and Claps. Because Lord have mercy, we need it. Good work, Perry. Good work. Took you forever, but good work. A shell gone. All right, now we're getting into the harder part of the game. Shell gone is part dragon type. Dragons are weak against other dragon attacks and ice attacks. Neither of which we have this early. Neither of which. Uh, I kind of want to send out Viper. Viper can paralyze it, and then we'll be good. Oh, it has shed skin, doesn't it? I think shell gone has shed skin. Not entirely sure. Shogun's not only a dragon, but it is it is the second stage in its evolution family. That is not good. Glare. Glare. A headbutt from a Shogun. I knew it. That'd be horrible. Here we go. Here's a poison sting. Come on. Oh, no. This isn't going to be good. At least it's paralyzed. We can switch out and not have too many problems, I believe. I'm going back to Perry. Perry's confusion should be should be cleared by now. We'll be all right. We'll be all right, family. Mm -hmm. How about we catch it with a metal claw? How do dragons fare against steel type attacks? They fare all right. I don't like these leers, though. Come on. Hey, come on. Paralyze. Good work. Come on. Yeah. One more? Maybe two more. Oh, never mind. Come on, Perry. Okay. Those leers didn't do too much. That's good. Yes! Ooh, that crit, though! Good work, Perry. Proud of you, big dog. Stunky. Stunky is part um poison. He's had a wild team so far. This psychic has a wild team. Part poison, 
Uh, let's go for... Let's keep Perry out. I think we can do all right with Perry. All right, Stunky. Come get this work. Yeah! Perry's here for the business today, ladies and gentlemen. All right. I was wrong. What, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? If you read your opponent's mind, then you can attack more efficiently. Huh. <laughs> huh. All right. Let's look at the map. Okay. Oh, we can zoom in, correct? Yes, with that button. Okay, so this is the route that is before. Actually, we, there was no encounter on that route at all. So whether or not it is linked, it is the same route. We can still get an encounter. Uh, this is Route 35. There was a pond there. We'll probably come back to that pond once we have the ability to do some fishing. This is National Park where we're just outside. Okay, 36. So we go to the right a little bit. It'll drop down, say 36. If this is not 36 where we are now. And we'll be able to do some fish or some, uh, an encounter. What I'll do is I'll just run back real quick. It'll tell me whether or not this is Route 36. Let's see. Go through here. Okay, yes, this is Route 36 here. So when we walk up here, we can get us an encounter. All right. What we got? What we got? A, ch a chingling. Chingling is what? Psychic type? I know it's a baby. It's not considered a baby, but it's a baby. Let's see if we can catch us a chingling. Perry, can you please not kill chingling? Good work. Oh, that one point of damage. Never mind. It's all it's all in the residual damage. Here's the here's another pound. Come on, Perry. Good work. Chingling would be a great addition. A, a great addition to the team. Just hope we can catch it. Here's a let's go. Ooh, can we go friend ball? I think it evolves on friendship, doesn't it? Let's use a friend ball. One. Nope. No good. Alright, here's what we're gonna have to do. Here's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to switch from Perry. I just hope Chingling doesn't have any psychic attacks. Because we're gonna switch from Perry. Oh, I hope we can switch with the uh with the rap happening. We're gonna switch to Viper. Nope, can't be switched out because of the uh the rap. Alright. I think we're in a tough spot here. We can't we definitely can't attack it anymore. Let's try a regular Pokeball. I know friend ball and Pokeball have the same same chance, but we're gonna try a Pokeball here. So close. Come on. Come on, Chingla. Let's try another Pokeball. That was that one was actually close. We can do this. We can get away with it. But it wasn't for these meddling kids. Nope. Chingla wants to die. Chingla wants to die. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Come on, let us let's out this wrap and it's a wrap. Come on, another Pokeball. Come on, Chingla. All right, we got Chingling. We got Chingling, ladies and gentlemen. We got Chingling. All right, let's check the Pokedex for Chingling. Chingling, the bell Pokemon. It emits high-frequency cries that people can't hear. Once it starts, it can cry for an awfully long time. All right, nickname for Chingling. Nickname for Chingling. Chingling. This is Chingling here. A nickname for Chingling, Echo. This is Echo the Chingling. Why is it in the deceased box? Why do they keep going to the deceased box? Okay. Uh, do we have to go heal? Let's heal. We should be able to heal very quickly. We'll have to run all the way back. There's a trick that you use to heal, at, but the exchange is friendship. You go to the PC, and you deposit your Pokemon and pull them right back out. They heal all the way. Give me a second. All right, so I didn't go all the way back to the Pokemon. I'm sorry, to the 
box the computer to deposit my Pokemon because I need them to stay my friends, especially Starla. She evolves based on the friendship level, so I couldn't have that reset just yet. Not just yet. Okay, so here we are. This is where we were before, so we were on the right side instead of below. This is the tree that'll juke for you. It'll juke for you when you try to talk to it. Um, when we water this with the squirt bottle, it should, it should get up and dance. Now, this is the last rule. I know the rules episode was the very first one, and we're on, what, episode 12 right now? But this is the very last rule. An encounter like this is called an event. Uh, it's an in-game event, but it's an event nonetheless. I'm going to make it so that we are able to do events whether or not we have already done our encounter for the route. Like, this would still be a Route 36 encounter if I didn't have the event clause. So, in the event that we come across events, whether or not we have done our um, our route encounter or our location encounter, we can still get the event Pokemon. Oh, I just ruined it, didn't I? Sorry. This is a, this is a Pokemon. So, we're going to... Oh, I should have stocked up on balls. I should have stocked up on balls. Be right back. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. I bought... I think seven great balls and seven ultra balls. That's all I bought. That's all I did. All right. Here's the, here's the tree. It's an odd tree. Use a squirt bottle. Of course. Jill, use a squirt bottle. The odd tree doesn't like the squirt bottle. The odd tree attacked. All right. What is our encounter? Our event encounter. It's a bell sprout. We got it. We it's a bell. Okay, it's a bell sprout. All right, let's get uh Perry out of there. Let's see. How about we go scavenger? Let's go scavenger. Let's 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 send scavenger in. Oh man, <laughs> we went from uh we went from Sudamudo to bell sprout. All right, Scav, I need you to wake up, family lamb. I need you to wake up. Bellsprout, Bellsprout might give you the business if you don't wake up. Come on. That did set. Ooh, excuse me. That did seven damage as the attack. That's crazy. Poison powder. You can't poison it if it's sleeping, genius. Come on. Good work. Focus energy. Perfect. That crit rate is going up. Great. Another another rap attack. We actually need to deal a lot of damage to this thing very quickly. Because he's giving us the business. How about we... we? His defense shouldn't be good, should it? I don't want to kill it. I don't want to kill it. Here's Hyper Fang. Come on, Scav. Come on, Scav. Try it again. I want you to try it again. Here you go. Hold this Hyper Fang for me. In the flinch. Good. Good. I think we need to heal. Yeah, we need to heal Scavenger at this point. Uh, potion it up. Potion it up for me one time. Here's another wrap. Yeah, if I didn't heal, if I didn't heal Scavenger, she, he probably would have died. Damn! Come on, Scav! Come on! We needed that! We Yes, we needed that bell sprout on this team, Scavenger. We needed a grass type. That was fun. I want to give you this for entertaining me. That was not for entertainment. That was for the sake of us continuing this adventure, as well as the people of Johto being able to head north. She gave us the berry pots, though. With the berry pots, you can grow any berry from any region with no worries. That's right. I'll give you some berries, too. Berry pots won't do any good without berries. She gave us some orange berries. She also gave us some, some Petra berries. You have to plant berries in the soil. You should water them from time to time. Then they'll grow strong. I have to go back to Goldenrod. Are you heading to Ecrutique? 
for extra teeth? Then you should go north here. See you around. Okay, so the berry pots are basically these pots that we can plant the berries in so they grow. They travel with us so that we don't have to run back to any location like we will in a future game that we play. Um, and we can grow them over time. Now we need the hour. I'm sorry, we need to water them every so many hours. I'm not so familiar on how often we do, but the more frequently we water them on time, the more berries that grow. Uh, we'll do berries in in a while. She said we need to head north to go to Ecrutique, but what we're gonna do first is head back east. We're gonna head back east so that we can head into. I don't know if this will be familiar to you guys, but we're heading into Violet City. We're back in Violet City just to heal up, and then we'll head north into Ecrutique City. And I think, not entirely sure, but I think that might be a good place. Where's the the Pokemon Center? I think that might be a good place to call it for today. We we had a lot of fun. We didn't actually do too much. We just left Goldenrod. We finally moved past Goldenrod City into Ecrutique City. So I'm considering that an accomplishment. We made it to the next city. And then we'll begin from there. We'll pick up from there tomorrow, guys. Now there is there are a few things in between Ecrutique City and where we uh we fought the 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 Jucking Bell Scout. I could have named it Juk. That would have been a perfect name had we caught it. Had Scavenger allowed us to catch that bell sprout, we would have had a perfect name for it. Juk. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. All right, we're leaving Violet City once again, and we're going to head north towards Ecrutique City. All right. I hope Perry's doing all right. Perry, how you feeling, buddy? What you looking for? He's looking around restlessly at the forest. All right. We got one of those Pokemon. We're going to head north from here, and we're continuing on our path. There's a tree. Oh, it's a tree. What does this sign say? The move dig can take you back to the entrance when you use it. If you want to explore a cave or something similar, a Pokemon with dig will be quite useful. That's very true. Route 37? We're on our, we're on another route already. Well, let's let's. I hope we can catch something here, cause no, you know our team won't let us. All right, a stunky. We already have what? One poison type. We have one or two poison types. Let me check real quick. We have two poison types. I forget waste is there. Waste is truly a waste on this team. Here's a metal claw. Please don't die, stunky. Stunky's pretty good once it evolves, I believe. All right, Perry, Perry, please don't, please don't kill it, please. Please, please, please. Good, poison gas. Don't tell me he's poison. He's poison. He's poison. All right, let's get this catch. Then we'll heal Perry. Come on. Uh, let's try a let's try one of our lovely ooh, move over this way, please. Let's try a great ball for Stunky. All right, we have two in reserves, and guess what? It's in the wrong box. It's in the wrong box. All right, let's check Stunky's Pokedex. Stunky, the skunk Pokemon, win the guest. The foul fluid from its rear is so revolting that it can make people feel queasy up to a mile and a quarter away. That is a huge distance. That radius is ridiculous, yo. Alright, Stunky. Stunky, this is... This is... Whoops. Let's do this one. This is... Smells. Smells the Stunky. He's in the wrong box. He, uh, of course, I'll move him out. Ooh, 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 that's scary. All right, let's see. Medicine. Medicine. We got antidotes. Here we go. There you go, Perry. Sorry about that. All right. Now we can continue on our journey. Hey, look at that. That's a double battle, but only, apparently double battles work only if you run into the Pokemon, uh, the trainers in a certain way. You need to be right up against them or else they'll separate and it'll be single battles. Perry and Dawn? 
Are we going to see Perry and Dawn this battle? I think they both cover each other, more or less. So let's go Perry and Dawn. How about that? How about that? Uh, let's save. <laughs> I know it doesn't matter, but it makes me feel all right if I save right before this battle. All right. Double battle. Perry. Dawn. Taking on the world. Here we go. All right. Let's battle. All right. I'm bringing out a Pokemon. That's how you battle, yes? I, I don't think you have to. I don't think you have to tell me you're bringing out a Pokemon. A Wizmer and a Spiro. Uh oh. This might not be good. Perry and Dawn, baby. All right, Perry. You're going to start with a Metal Claw towards Spiro. And Dawn. You're going to start with a vital throw towards the Wismer. Come on. Yes, that attack is raised. I'm here for it. Fury attack. And astonish. It's not. Oh, Don flinched. No, Don. You're not allowed to flinch. How many Pokemon? Okay, they only have those two. Here's Spiro. And let's try vital throw once again. Come on. Spiro's out of here. Good work, team. Proud of y'all. Proud of y'all. Uproar. She's trying not to go to sleep. I don't know what kind of what kind of battle she thought this was gonna be, but that ain't happening. Alright. Good work, team. Proud of both of you. Doing the business. Good work. I lost. I lost. Well, yeah. It'll be all right. I'll be okay. What's your health looking like? Because it looks like we have another double battle. You guys are good. I'm going to heal Perry. Dawn should be fine. Dawn's only missing, what, three points? I'll heal Perry up. Dawn's missing five. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. This is another double battle, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, you are a cute little trainer. Why don't you battle me? Yes, it is a double battle. Good. Hey, hey there, young you young trainer. Won't you battle with me? Fine, fine. Everybody hold it. Hold on. We'll take on both you beauties. Callie and Cassandra. They both have two, though. An artillery and a Marowak. All right, Perry. Dawn, let's do this. Perry, you got the Marowak. You catch it with a bubble. And Dawn, do I want you to? I think I want you to sand attack artillery. Come on, come on, come on. Marowak is out of here. That was no question. That was no question. All right. Uh oh, side beam. I was not expecting a side beam from artillery. Dawn, you gotta. Dawn, how many? Oh no! Please don't, please don't attack yourself, Dawn. Dawn, how many clicks is it from here to to, to South Korea? Oh, you don't know? Well, I guess you better get on the bench till you find out. Uh, lantern. I think if we give her the lantern, we'll be better off, because then they only have one Pokemon fighting against R two. Uh, I can't send out Viper or Waste. Let's send out Starla. I feel like that's a huge mistake, but I'm sending out Starla. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn. That's not going to be a good fight. Thunder Wave. It, it's, Lantern is part water and part electric. It's not going to be pretty. If only there was a way to take this on as a single battle. Because now Perry is paralyzed and confused. There's a 25% chance that Perry won't attack at all. A 25% chance that it will attack but hurt itself. Okay. I just hope the thing doesn't know anything like Thundershot or Spark or anything. Or Perry is done. Let's go Peck. Pack against Lantern. And Magical Leaf. Oh, it knows Magical Leaf. Starla. Starla. Starla, you got this. 
Flail. Okay, Flail's not gonna do too much because it still has a lot of health. Just hold on, Starla. All right. Come on. Yes, that's a good attack. Parry. Peck. All right. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Let's try it again. Extra sensory, though. Extra sensory, though? Oh, flail. Uh oh. Flail. Flail deals more. Da if I'm not mistaken, flail deals more damage as the user has lower HP. So we need to get Lantern out of here very quickly. Come on. Uh oh. Come on. Okay. Oh. Oh, and that was a crit. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Come on, Starla. Damn. It's set up. It's in the perfect range to kill. Perry! Perry! Perry coming through! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Good work. Good work, guys. I'm proud of all of you right now. We're getting Perry out of here for just a hot second. Here's Scavenger. And then Starla should be able to make this work. Let's try Extra Sensory. I'm not sure if Octillery is part poison. I, I know it's water, but I'm, I don't know if it's part poison as well. Aurora Beam. Come on, Starla. That was a crit. No, it's not part Psychic. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to Hyper Fang, and then we're going to heal Starla. I can't keep switching everybody out because then we'll be in a... We'll be in a conundrum. We'll be in a conundrum. Here's a uh, here's a star. Here's a Starla. <laughs> here's a Starla. Enjoy your lemonade. Yeah. 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 All right. Come on. All right. I think you guys got this here. Here's a hyper beam. Here's a hyper beam and an. In a magical leaf. Scavenger. Oh, scavenger missed. That isn't good. Come on, Starla. Yeah! That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Go ahead, Starla. Proud of my team. Oh, there's still one more into Lairon. Lairon is part steel, part rock? It's either rock or ground. I get it mixed up all the time. In either case, Scavenger ain't doing so hot here. Did I heal Perry? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Okay. My entire team is not doing a good job here. So here's what we're going to bank on. I'm going to guess that he's not going to kill Scavenger. So I'll blow Scavenger's turn to heal. Let's see. Starla. I'll blow Scavenger's turn to heal Starla. And I'll blow Starless turn to heal. Don't want to. I think I want to heal. Um, did you eliminate? I think I want to heal. Don't want to heal. I want to heal Dawn. All right. Oh damn! He attacked Starla. Shoot. We lost Starla. Damn. If that was a crit, that wasn't gonna. Starla wasn't going to do it anyways. I'm so sorry, Starla. All right, here we go. Let's go for uh, focus energy. And then we'll... Is sand attack the way to do this? I think we want sand attack here. We're going to vital throw, but as soon as we get the sand attack off. A mud slap. All right, it's not bad at all. Don got this. Uh, let's go Hyper Fang into another sand attack. And that sand attack will be followed up by a vital throw. Let's lap. Oh, he's going for both of them. Or she. Does Leron think she could do this? All right, here we go. We're going to go to war now. We're going to go to war. Uh, who we go to war with, though? Let's continue healing, healing our lovely, our lovely... 
Perry. And here's a vital throw. Dead Harden. We need crits. We need crit stat. Crits, when it's a critical hit, it, it ignores all status changes. That was good. That was really good. Come on, Perry. And we'll get rid of that paralysis next turn. I think I think Dawn has this though. Well, I'm gonna stick. Yep, Dawn got it. Good work, Team Snaps and Claps. Proud of all of you. I'm so sorry, Starla. Dawn to level 20. Dawn's doing good. Oh, Scavenger to level 19. Look at our team. Wants to learn Sucker Punch. Scavenger with all these these dark attacks. Sucker Punch. Uh, if the foe isn't readying an attack, it fails. This is going to be a rough one to use. Don't want to trade that for focus energy? I think I want to... How about Pursuit? We don't really have a use for Pursuit on um, when we're fighting NPCs and stuff. They don't really switch out Pokemon. Like, there's one or two per game at the most. I'm doing Pursuit. We'll get rid of Pursuit. So that we can have uh, Sucker Punch. Because that would be great. Once we get to the point where we know that they're using Hyper Beam, Solar Beam, things like that. We, we can do that. That would be perfect. We lost we lost Starla, y'all. Starla was, Starla was pretty dope. I am so sorry, my sweet Starla. I want another egg. Can I have another chance again? An egg. Let's heal. Let's heal... Uh, uh, Perry, he's, he's still paralyzed. He's still paralyzed. All right, we're gonna bypass his encounter. It's a, it's a Whismer. Poor Whismer. All right, we're gonna bypass this. We're just gonna leave. We already got our encounter for this route. Let's see, there are trees down here, yeah? Yeah, there are. We'll come back down here in, in, a, in a little bit. All right, we'll get those. But we made it to Ecrutic City. And of course, we had some eventful stuff happen on our way to Ecrutique City. All right. Oh, who is this? Who is this? Hi, I'm Bill. And who are you? Hmm. Chill, huh? You know what? I'm the one who developed the system to transfer Pokemon. But it couldn't have been done by me alone. For example, do you know the Hoenn region? This girl, Lanette from Hoenn, made the Pokemon storage system easier to use. Oh, yeah? I'd love to meet Lanette one day. My friends all over the world are working to improve the Pokemon trade and storage systems. I have to hurry back to Goldenrod and see my folks. Bye bye. All right. Well, let's heal up and then we'll call it. We'll heal up, call it, and deposit. Uh, we'll deposit Starla. If you guys enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke, we'd love to see more. And all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. Now it's that subscribe button. And I'll do my best, do my best to make sure you guys get to see more episodes of games like Pokemon Soul Silver, more challenges like Nuzlocke runs, as well as everything else that All Play has to offer. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on All Play. This has been a long, long episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs>